Hi boys and girls. I have the book called Mama and Me and the Model T. This book is by Faye Gibbons and I want to show you something pretty special on the inside of this book. This book right here was given to me by the author Faye Gibbons when I was teaching school in the Bahamas. And you can see that she wrote me a little um, message here for Adrian Hinton. That was my maiden name before I got married. Happy reading from Lucy and me, Faye Gibbons, 3-15-02, and that means March 15th, 2002. And then she's got a wolf from Lucy down here. So we see a whole bunch of kids, and we see this dog, and we're going to see what's going on in this story. Mama and me and the Model T. Again, it's by Faye Gibbons, and I hope you enjoy it. It was fall in the Georgia mountains when my stepfather went to town. Mr. Long left early one morning when the leaves were turning to gold. Mama and us five Cersei youngins gathered in the yard with the seven long kids to say goodbye. It was me, Mr. Long winked at. Mandy girl, he said, I'll be bringing a surprise when I come home today. And he did. We were setting the table for dinner when we heard put, put, pow, rackety put, rackety put, pow. Us youngins knew the only one thing could make such a grand and glorious sound. A motor car, said my brother Larry Ray. Sure enough, down the road came a Model T, chugging along the pasture fence, scaring the mules and the cows. It lurched into the yard, burping and hissing, and came to a stop with a honk on the horn. Aruga! Aruga! Yuckety pow! Earl Long gave out a whoop. Papa bought a motor car! Mary Lucy, the youngest long, grabbed my hand tight and we hurried outside with the others. Cheering and laughing, all of us gathered around the car with the barking dogs. Who wants a ride in a Model T? Mr. Long asked, climbing out of the car with a great big smile. And a Model T, boys and girls, is like what cars used to look like. Me, us youngins yelled together. We crowded into that motor car, all us Cersei kids and all the Longs, one of the dogs, and two cats. Jimmy Long and my brother Robert perched on the running boards. Mama and Mr. Long could barely squeeze in. We were sitting on legs and standing on toes, poking elbows in ribs and noses and hair. Mr. Long drove. We rackety putted all around the farm. We bounced and jiggled down to the spring. We rattled by our cotton fields. We joggled around the barn and splashed through the creek. At last, we stopped at the front porch. Rooga! Rackety putt putt. Now gather round, boys, Mr. Long said when we'd all piled out. You'll be driving this motor car someday. You girls step back. Cars are for boys, said Larry Ray. He scrambled up with the other boys as Mr. Long told them what to push and what to pull and what to twist. Who remembers all that, he asked when he turned the crank and the car roared to life. I do, said all the boys together. I do, said Mama and Kate Long, and me along with them. Mr. Long edged us girls aside. Pay attention, boys, while I show you again. Men need to learn to drive. And girls don't, Kermit Long said. Girls just ride. Once again, Mr. Long set the levers and turned the crank, and the Model T went rackety putt, rackety putt. Any man can do it, he said. Rackety putt, rackety putt.
Mama took off her apron and handed it to me. Then so can any woman. Yes, said all us girls. No, yelled the boys. Wait, said Mr. Long, leaping to block her path. But Mama was too quick for him. She dodged around his reaching hands and sprang into the motor car. Rackety -puck -puck -puck. Get in the house, youngins, Mr. Long yelled, grabbing Mary Lucy and Larry Ray. But I didn't go. I dropped Mama's apron and jumped into the motor car with her. We'll show them, I said. Mama gave a little wave and a great big smile. The engine roared and the Model T jolted backward across the yard. Oh my, Mama cried, and the car lunged into the clothesline. So going into the clothesline there, getting caught up. Clang-a-bang, clang-a-bang, pow! Push that left pedal, I screamed. Mama did, and the car leaped forward, dragging the clothesline behind. We tore across the yard, cutting through a flower bed and bouncing over the woodpile. Clang-a-bang, clang-a-bang, pow! It's an awfully loud car. Thumpity thump, bonkity bonk. We scraped under the branches of the pear tree and fruit rained down on us. We bobbed across a stump at the edge of the yard and ran over a crepe myrtle bush. When we clipped a scarecrow in the garden, its hat landed on my head. Around the barn we zoomed once, twice, and then a third time. Mama flattened a pine sapling before tearing through the pasture fence and shimmying over a hill. Mama turned the steering wheel and the car swung around in a wide half circle. She yelled, I'm learning! You sure are, Mama, I yelled back, but the road's over there. So it is, Mama said, turning again and bumping across a ditch. When at last we got to the road, somehow Mama stayed mostly on it. Guess we showed them who can drive a car, she shouted. So let's go home, I answered. As we pulled into the yard, we saw it. We saw Mr. Long and a string of Cersei and Long youngins running to meet us. Mama stopped the car with a pow and one long rugra. Then we stepped out. This motor car has a mind of its own, Mama said. It's not the only one, Mr. Long replied. He took a deep breath and mopped his face with his handkerchief. Then he smiled at Mama and all us youngins. I guess, he said slowly, this Model T belongs to all of us. And it did belong to all of the Circes and the Longs, the whole family. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this book, Mama and Me and the Model T by Faye Gibbons. Have a great day. Bye.